really, really big game against a good opponent. They got problems. Patriots, all I really care about is the numbers 9 and 1. You see them right there. But after the game, Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz, he spoke about the team's missed opportunities on the offensive side. Really good defense. Um, so hats off to them. They did a great job taking away some things that we wanted to do. Um, it's frustrating because we came out, you know, pretty hot. You know, we didn't convert that first drive, but got three points, and then went down and scored. Um, and then that was it. You know, that was it for our, our offense. So, um, you know, hats off to them. They played a great, great uh, defensive game, but we got to be better. It's good to win. Um, go on the road and win is always tough. So they all count the same. But um, anytime we go on the road and beat a, beat a good team is a good feeling. Patriots right the ship that defense back to looking like the class of the league after Lamar Jackson had his way with them prior to their bye week. The Eagles five and five through ten games. Even though let's you talk about the the receivers, I mean, they might not be an elite group, but they are still so talented top to bottom. This team, should we consider them underachievers? I have a fan tweeting our show. It's the Eagles super fan saying, I'm sad about my Eagles. What do we need to do? Underachievers is difficult when they have all these injuries, right? I mean, it's right. been, Deshaun Jackson's been out, and then yet last year it was Alshon Jeffrey, and they're starting running back Jordan Howard. And yet, I think we all thought the Eagles would be in the Super Bowl conversation going into this season. The roster was loaded. And so many times last night, we're watching this game, and it's like Wentz is driving them, driving them, and they just can't score. Now, I get it. There's injuries. There's problems. But a lot of teams have injuries. You know. So are they underachievers? If you ask an Eagles fan, 5-5 five and five going into Week 12, yeah, it's an underachievement. They showed how good they could be by getting up to that 10-zip lead yesterday. They, they can do it. And I like their schedule along the way. They only played two teams with winning records the rest of the way. You look over the Cowboys schedule, woof, 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 woof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, they had an opportunity to win this game. Even in that first half, Wentz had a fumble, and then there was a, a bobbled snap and I'm thinking to myself right before halftime it's like you're trying to give this away but yet and still in the fourth quarter Wentz is out there doing everything that he can puts the ball in perfect placement back in the end zone Nelson Aguilar can't snatch it down I'm not going to make excuses for guys being injured because that's every single team at this point in the year are they underachievers K yeah they're too talented and the coach is too good they shouldn't be at this position this season sitting at five and five this is the time I'm supposed to start screaming and making Rocky references and never give up and there's no easy way. I can't do it. I did that a couple years ago because it was genuine and I really felt like they had the thing. There's nothing that's showing me right now that this team has the future where they're going to get there. And the biggest problem is I still think they're going to have a date of destiny with the Cowboys. Mm. I still think they will. Week 16. The Cowboys own them right now. Four in a row, complete shellacking last time out. If they give me a little bit, I'll get in the Ferrari with Balboa. But until then, <laughs> I'm still Adrian screaming down the stairs. You can't win. Someone Sorry. else often has to step up because they're not going to take down those teams in the NFC playing like this. That's right. Speaking of the Cowboys, let's get to these highlights.